Thank you very much. Um, I'm also coming from the historic National Historic Museum in Stockholm, and uh, I am going to talk about a coming exhibition about a medieval massacre in Gotland, the Swedish island in the Baltic Sea. It is summer 1361. The enemy is coming. Everybody must help defending Gotland. The army with Danish soldiers is marching north and they are getting closer to the town of Visby. Several attempts to stop them have failed. The final battle is taking place outside the town wall the 27th of July. Almost 2,000 farmers, together with young boys and older men, have armed themselves the best they can. In vain, they wait for the cit citizens in Visby to help them. The gates never opened. Almost all of the Gotlanders were killed in the massacre and thrown into big mass graves, most of them still wearing their clothes and armors. Just a few years later, later, this cross was raised to remember all of them who died. Today, people still tell legends about what happened that summer. Already in the beginning of the 19th century, the first graves were found. Later, four different mass graves were located. The most comprehensive ex excavations took place in a large-scale project, 1928 to 1930. Huge amounts of archaeological objects, pieces of armors and personal belongings were excavated. About 1,200 skeletons have been taken out of the graves, many of them with distinct marks from weapons. By showing archaeological objects, pieces of armors and personal belongings, um, sorry, huge amounts of archaeological objects, pieces of armors and personal belongings were excavated. No, sorry, can I start over again? By showing archaeological material and human remains uh, from these graves representing a medieval massacre in Sweden, we can discuss issues about violence, guilt, and treachery. By interpreting the archaeological and osteological material, we get a unique opportunity to come close to some individuals who lived in mid-14th century. People who fought to defend the right to live and act freely was brutally defended by a better equipped enemy. What was the feeling to be in the middle of a battle, to be trapped between the high town wall and the enemies? probably feelings of despair and abandonment, mixed with a strong will to defend your identity and your independence. The background, the event, and above all, the consequences of the invasion in 1361 can give us understanding and reflections with parallels to contemporary situations. The total vulnerability and the instinct to defend what is important has many parallels today. In the showcases, a number of individuals are going to be presented through objects and skeletons. By using archaeological and osteological knowledge, we can tell a lot about the different individuals and meeting them face to face. By telling a story from 650 years ago and just change some small details, it could be a story from today. The exhibition will give possibilities for us to discuss questions of human values and criticism of sources. Different stories are told in different times. This famous picture from 1882 has been reproduced over and over again in many school books, telling one version of what happened. During the Second World War, the artist Sven Eriksson interpreted the same occasion by showing the treasury from the citizens who watched but never opened the gates. After that massacre, the 27th of July, 1361, 
when more than half of the male population on Gotland died, a lot of women were left to take care of remaining families, to work and to live on, a fate that is shared over and over again. We want to use an historical event to reflect upon our own time. Thank you.